Hi, hi, hi. How are you doing? So today, I feel like I'm about to shake tables. This video is specifically for people who are in their 30s going to 40, okay? I am in that table. So if you are closer to 40 than you are to 30, this video is for you. So for people who are 35 and above, this video is for you. Things you need to work on or you need to start putting in place as a woman before you turn 40. And let's get into the video. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Furo and on this video we are going to be talking about things you need to put in place before you turn 40. As a woman, okay, I will be turning 38 this year. Mm, I feel old. And I feel like I am closer to 40 and there are things I need to put in place. The ones that I have not put in place, I'm going to be showing you and telling you in this video so that we can all put it to place together. So it doesn't mean I'm going to be telling you my, but I'm just going to be sharing the things we as women who are closer to 40 need to put in place before we become 40, okay? It's not that harsh. It's not harsh. I put it in my book. That's why I am looking downward. Have you watched my last video on how you can make foreign currencies while you live in Nigeria? Yes, you need to go watch that video if you're turning 40 because you need to start making foreign currency if you live in Nigeria. That's going to help you. So you need to go watch that video. Okay? <laughs> I love money. That's why I'm talking. Um, you need to go watch that video so that... <clears throat> You start making foreign currency while you live in Nigeria. If you're not making foreign currency and you're a woman that is turning 40 in Nigeria right now, what are you doing? <laughs> Be cool. Start making foreign currency. So that video is for you. That is out of the way. So let's get into the video. I will be looking down a lot is because I have done extensive research in myself and in the world. And I think these things you should put in place before you turn 40 as a woman. Number one, a concrete source of income. <laughs> this is no brainer that as a woman, you need to put in place a concrete source of income before you turn 40. Okay? You need to have a reliable source of income where you make money every day, every week, or even every month before you turn 40. It could be a business, but make sure that business is reliable and strong. It's not a business you're not happy with. This business might not you know, be able to provide totally everything you need, but they should be able to provide the basics. So the basics to me is clothing, food, shelter and taking care of your children or your family if you have one okay so you should have a concrete source of income before you turn 40 you shouldn't still be in that level where you're like mm, oh god oh my god oh you should have something to give you money before you turn 40. number two you should be independent. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to say this. That it's not going to hurt somebody's feeling. As a wife, as a woman, if you are still relying on a man or on your partner 100% to provide your needs when you are getting close to 40, you should put a stop. You should be totally independent at that age so once you're turning 36 37 38 you should be independent to provide for yourself whatever your partner your spouse or whoever that you're depending on will give you as a woman at that age should be extra so if you're married to a very wealthy man and he is providing for you it should be extra, but at this age, you should be independent and responsible for yourself. 
I see a lot of this narrative where women are projecting that, oh, you should have a high value man, you should be able to provide things you can't even provide for yourself. No way. That is a no for me. I feel like when you are getting close to 40 or when you are becoming 40, you should be able to be independent to provide for yourself and cater for yourself as an adult individual. Number three. At this age, you should have a full skincare routine, okay? You should not just leave yourself like that if you want to age properly. You should have a skincare routine. You should invest in skincare products. Now, I am not telling you to go all over the place. Maybe in another video, I'm going to be showing you some of the few ones I use. I have a couple and I don't go all over the place. I have one of everything I need. So, skincare product is tailor to you don't just buy anything and everything that somebody recommends no buy what you know you need for instance i do not have acne like very bad i have acne but not like very bad acne i have a pretty decent and healthy face for my age so there are things i will not buy that someone who has a very heavy acne will buy so don't just buy everything and anything make sure that you buy what is tailored to you for instance i have large pores and i've been buying you know a few things that will help me with my large pores and so whatever skin problem or anti-aging you're trying to buy one is enough so if you buy one and that's not helping you you buy another one so you don't have to have a full table of product or spend so much money especially when you do not have a lot of it to spend so make sure that when you are turning 40 you have a full skincare routine to help you this will help you age properly and also put your uh, uh, skin in the right direction as you age okay so we shouldn't be afraid to age because there's a lot of things that will help us age very very well and age happily and nicely so you know you see a lot of these women who are older these days and you're like mm, how, how, how are you that old you know that old because they are taking care of themselves so which brings me to the next point start to take care of yourself and be a little selfish for yourself when you start turning 40 or when you are going close to 40 start taking care of yourself this is the time where you need to argue less you need to just let some things just slide you need to stress um, a little bit less so that you, you don't die before your time okay there is more to life than stressing and worrying so much so this is a time where you need to be selfish a little bit about yourself and just breathe and just breathe and just breathe and rest okay my next point is stop worrying too much see there is never a time in life that you will feel completely fulfilled i've had opportunity of talking to a lot of older women a lot of uh, um, women that are retired and they still have a couple of things they thought they would have done you know for themselves before they got to that age but <laughs> they have they, they they've passed that line so i feel like there's never a time when you'll be completely fulfilled in your life sometimes you need money you will be looking for something else uh, you need this you'll be looking for you'll be looking at that when you finish this you want to that so enjoy the moment you are in now while you wait for the next phase of your life stop you know wishing and uh, 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 praying that you're there you're there and why what you have now is passing you by once you are in your early 30s my dear start channeling your energy to enjoyment and enjoying the phase where you are in right now and leave the other man alone <laughs> number five my number invest in yourself and when you want to invest in yourself invest wisely this is one thing i hope 
tell myself if I have to redo it again. So for instance, um, when I came to the UK, I came to do a master's in procurement, logistics and supply chain. I knew I needed this at the time, but what I did not plan is a plan B of apart from where I was looking at this degree helping me, will it help me if I wasn't doing that particular thing, okay? So I went ahead and did this course and I was hoping that I would do a second degree just after this course. But sometimes, you see, money it, it doesn't just give you that delivery to do whatever you like to do. So, but when you want to invest in yourself, make sure you do it rightly, okay? So make sure you look at all ramifications all around and before you do that investment, especially when it's a big investment like acquiring a master's in a foreign country. So if I have to recuse my master's again, instead of doing procurement, logistics and supply chain, I would have done nothing. That would have given me more room for um, independence than procurement. So invest in yourself, uh, but invest wisely. So make sure you invest in the things you really need. And investing yourself is not only about acquiring a master's in a foreign country. It could be investing in your skincare routine. It could be investing in your looks. It could be investing in your clothing, buying clothing. All those things are in a form of investment. So invest in yourself as much as you can. No. The next one for me is try to create female relationships. Female relationships are very, very important. This is one thing I did not take as a priority while I was growing up as an adult okay I create a female relationship but for me I usually really really get tired fast and quickly so if I am in a relationship with you as my female and you upset me and I can't stand it I am done I'm going forward um, there's no perseverance there's no oh let's work on it or no so because of that I do not have like uh, a lot of female relationship uh, I would have loved to have right now and then even this relocation whole thing just you know destroyed my female relationship that i had managed to build so literally i am starting from the beginning now so it is very very important to create female relationship when you're turning 40 because i realized that at a point um just if you're in a relationship so you have a spouse or you have kids you will begin to want more relationship we begin to want like girls hang out more um like uh, traveling with your girlfriends and all the rest of them for me before now i am not someone who will want to book a date with a friend and just go and chill but now i feel like i am craving those things now, now. and unfortunately i am in a place where i am starting to know new people and starting to create with new relationships so wherever you are try to create female relationship these people who will help you this relationship this networking will help you it, it comes hand in hand with networking also once you uh, get even if you're younger you need to also uh, create female relationship it's very very important I know there's a lot of hiccups when it comes to female relationship but you have to overlook those things and create them for yourself it's very very important the next one is start enjoying your own company okay if you try your best to get free my relationship and it's not working start looking for ways to enjoy your own company because it will bring me to the next one you need to travel and you can find someone to travel with you start to travel by yourself okay it's very very important your spouse might get really busy or something might happen and you guys will be in a long distance relationship you need to start enjoying your own company because if you don't you will start getting a lot frustrated so start enjoying your own company the next one i'll say to you is start traveling if you're in your 35 you're, you're going to your going close to 40 and you've not you don't have a passport you you've not traveled anywhere around the world or outside your you know comfort zone that is a really no no for me so start traveling start making travel trips start saving towards traveling to you know another state it might be a, a country but another state from where you live in 
um if you have the enough finance to save up save up travel to another country from the country where you live in okay um make memories make memories i realize something i realize sometimes i start feeling like oh i'm i'm wasting like i'm not enjoying my life and i'll see pictures i've taken where i've gone to a restaurant to have a meal or something or i've gone to a country i'm like oh i've gone to these places i'm actually enjoying so these pictures remind me of where i've been or where i used to be and places i've gone to and i'm like okay i'll just add to it i'll just you know look for ways to go to all more places and that feeling of feeling like oh i'm not really living life to the fullest who start going away because my pictures have just shown me that girl yeah yeah you're having fun okay so start making memories memories that when you look back at you say oh i really enjoy my youthful time i really enjoy this period where i was strong you know those memories start making them okay so the next one is if you've not had kids and you know you will have kids <laughs> please have them now have them when you're in your 30s you're still in your 30s don't wait till you clock 40. i feel like if you want to have kids except there's a biological problem except there's something stopping you and the only thing that's stopping you is um biological problem so maybe you have um, a hormonal imbalance or something that is stopping you from having kids please do have those kids before you clock 40 because man the changes that will happen in your body is 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 not joke and the way you feel so like me now i mean i'm turning 38 in a few months and i'm very close to 40 and if you ask me do i want to have kids now i would say no 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 please take them away from me i don't want to have kids okay start putting yourself in a retirement mode okay start putting yourself in a retirement mode i don't know if this is too much but i feel like i am feeling old i don't feel as young as i used to feel before i'm beginning to feel more mature and more put together so i'm trying to you know start putting my life together so i'll also urge you start putting yourself um in a retirement mode okay if you've not started saving for retirement this is the time to start saving for retirement and uh, i'm not saying save too much or just look at your lifestyle now how much do you spend in a month and try to start saving something towards your retirement um right now hi guys so my camera went off i had to go charge it a bit and i know i would have lost some parts of this content but let's start from here so my next point is so let's start from um creating memories start creating memories for yourself okay so that when you are a lot older you could look back to these memories and be excited that you did some fun activities with yourself with your family um, even with your spouse okay there's something i usually do there sometimes my spouse will drive me over the edge that i feel like yakking life out of his whole body <laughs> but once i see pictures where we made memories together well uh, um happy together and i'm like hmm. <laughs> and you just find out that there's this butterfly in my tummy like those um anger will just leave alone and even sometimes look we will all get to that point i don't know if you guys get to that point in that relationship there are times where your spouse will make you so angry that you start questioning your relationship but when you've seen like memories you guys made together you have a second thought so start creating memories for yourself and your family okay oh it means <laughs> it doesn't mean that things don't change but it means that your your future have been molded this is what you have become you have become what you have become so you start accepting who you have become and be happy with it instead of you know still killing yourself and you know hoping for these big big dreams the possibility of those dreams not happening is quite high it's quite high when you are close to 40 so start arranging your life together okay so that is it um the next point i'll give to you is start building confidence and um building confidence is a lot of things there are people who are in their late 
30s they are still uh, shy to face crowd they are still shy to face people they are still shy to defend themselves start building confidence and start looking for ways you can build that confidence okay and one of the ways i will advise you to build your confidence is by traveling by exposing yourself it's through experiences okay experiences things you have seen in life that are, those are one of the ways you could build your confidence so start exposing yourself to experiences start exposing yourself to things so that you begin to build your confidence you can't build your confidence just being inside your husband's house or just being a mom inside house nursing children cleaning diaper changing this that 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 you cannot you build your confidence by going outside so start creating ways to go outside for yourself okay so those are the ways you can can start building your confidence is there anything you think I forgot in this video please put them because I am also learning I am also preparing for 40 so I am learning ways I'm watching a lot of videos I'm doing a lot of research so are there things you need you think people that are coming close to 40 need to put in place please share in the comment section I would like to know until I see in another video don't forget to like subscribe Bye-bye.